In this video, I am going to be recreating this watercolor pug painting in an alcohol ink version. So let's get started. So some tips and tricks when you are using alcohol inks. Um, first thing is your brushes. They will not be suitable for any other medium after you use alcohol inks um, on your brushes. So just pick out super cheap brushes or brushes that you're going to um, not want around for a very long time. The alcohol ink just creates, um, it just makes them super like oh, crusty and like the ink, it seems like the ink like just never comes off of the bristles. Like it'll look clean, you're using like soap and everything's coming out clean, but as soon as you put that brush in 99% alcohol, like it just starts all over again. It's like the the pigment is always there. So be mindful of that and then also keep in mind that after you finish a painting, um and you're getting ready to start another one, just keep in mind that you probably will want to check the brush um, by dipping it in alcohol and see what color is left behind. Because the worst thing is thinking that you are starting off with a nice clean brush and you're going to make a beautiful ocean and it's, I don't know, brown in the brush. So that's never a fun start. So that's brushes. Um, paper, you can't really use alcohol ink on paper because it is super, like, I don't know, paper is way too absorbent for it. So... I use, um, it's called Yubo paper, but it's not actually a paper, it's just like a plastic, like a thin plastic sheet, um, and it's especially good for alcohol ink because it gives it, uh, like a smooth surface to kind of sit on top of. Um, it requires a lot of extra, I don't know, I guess mediums to make it do what you want it to do. Because if you're just using alcohol ink, just plopping it down, nine times out of ten, it's not really going to go anywhere. It's just going to sit there. And by the time you get your brush to it and start moving it around or attempting to move it around, it's going to be too dry. To go anywhere so in order to get it to move around like fluidly like if you were using watercolors either you can use alcohol and you can use a color extender or a blender um, and these mediums work for alcohol ink like water works for watercolor so it's kind of a lot of the same techniques that you would use in watercolor. The only thing is the alcohol ink dries super fast and like alcohol dries super fast. So um, as far as the mediums go, you can get 99% alcohol, you know, from a drugstore or whatever. And they say that you should use the 99% because anything less has too much water in it to work right with the alcohol ink. Um, so that's that. And let's see, we got brushes, we got paper. What else? Oh, alcohol inks. Um, there's, I guess, two major brands. Well, the two that I use. I use Ranger and I use Pinata. I don't know that there's any other brands out there. Where are we at in this painting? 
Um, it looks like I am working on the cupcake right now and just layering in those colors. So one of the cool things about alcohol ink compared to watercolor is this paper never gets tired. Like you never have to worry about it pilling up and just uh, getting crappy. It like lasts forever and it can take like everything that you're trying to do to it. So that's pretty nice. I guess in this part of the video I am applying some white acrylic paint because it's really hard after you have used the alcohol ink to get um, any sort of like a brightness or uh, like even the even the acrylic paint that I'm using you can see that it is eventually going to soak up the pigment from the ink and like the purple which I'm going over in white is going to just turn like a lighter purple so if you want something to be super white then you're gonna have to go over it a few times um, another thing that you can use is the PH Martin's bleed proof white and I don't really like using it um, on this because it kind of gets like it's not smooth it gets like crusty and if you go over it with your uh, when you're inking in like at the end if that's what you want to do then it kind of just comes off I don't think it sticks to the the plastic paper very well so it kind of just like flakes off and that's super annoying so yeah I guess I don't know why I brought it up because I don't recommend that you use it <laughs> maybe I'm just letting you know like learn from my mistakes so um I also use like the black sharpie on this stuff too because the alcohol ink and like all this stuff that you use like all the mediums kind of build up and depending on the marker that you're using it uh it can like kill the marker I don't, I don't know how else to say it I mean it seems like alcohol inks like everything I'm saying about it is super annoying and it seems like I don't like to use it, but <laughs> I promise I do. Um, so yeah, just don't use your best supplies uh, when you're using the alcohol ink, but it is super fun. And one of my favorite parts is actually coming up. Uh, I don't know if I really have anything else to say about using alcohol ink, um, but... Uh, I mean, they are fun, and it's something different to do. Uh, yep, so a little, I guess a little bit about the painting. Uh, just adding some hearts here, and you can see, like, I am literally using the crappiest brush ever, and it has bristles that are, like, frayed and just split all over the place. So my little hearts are not even um good <laughs> and I was having the same problem when I was doing his little eyes it uh I wasn't real I guess I was trying to be careful but the brush was like all frayed so yeah um okay so this is like a little a little shot showing you like what the alcohol ink does like when you, I just kind of floated onto the paper and put some of that color extender on it. And as you can see, with the brush, it is basically like dry immediately. And I'm trying to get it on there. But yeah, and here's, I'm just adding more color. Because what is the point of painting with alcohol ink if you can't like, make the blooms and stuff it's just very random but I mean it's super good for like underwater paintings so yeah and then right now I am pulling off my JLB washi tape and I wanted to do it in super slow motion 
because I feel like this part is so satisfying. It's like, I don't know, the icing on the cupcake. It's like that crisp white line and just the way that this looks. I mean, it looks like a photo, like a photograph. Like, I can't even explain. I do. I, I really do love it. I don't know why I was acting so salty, but <laughs> you just got to get used to it. But here's the watercolor version, and here is the alcohol ink version, and I love them both. They have both um, got really um, different and beautiful qualities about them, and I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, and subscribe to my channel if you would like, and I will see you next time. Bye.